Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Orvibo MixPad D1 Smart Dimmer Switch. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So we have some specs on the side. This is model V70X. The product size is 4.12 by 1.75 by 1.8 inches. The voltage is 120 by 60 hertz. Load range max is 250 watts watts incandescent halogen, 120 watts LED CFL, 250 watts MLV ELV. Communication mode is 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0. And then we have the operating temperature requirements. On the other side, it says how to install. It says remove existing switch, install MixPad D1 switch, connect network, and start using. So let's get this open. So it's important to point out this does require a neutral in the switch. So this may not work in older houses. And that's not just this, but it's very common with smart switches that they need neutral because it needs power to operate the switch. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we have some decals for the wires. And we have the user manual, okay. So this entire manual is English and it's a pretty thick manual. So there's a lot of content in here. So I'll read through this. This is probably a good overview of what this is. It says the MixPad D1 switch is a standard size smart dimmer switch that can quickly turn a traditional switch into a smart one. It combines four types of interactions, buttons, touch screen, voice, and mobile app while using Wi-Fi communication protocols. You can quickly control the lights through the button, precisely control through the touch screen, remote control through the mobile app, voice control through ALEXA or Google Assistant. It is a collection of device control, voice intercom, weather display and other applications of the wall smart switch. So this is more than your typical smart switch. It does more things. So here are the specs. It has a microphone, loudspeaker, touch screen, short press light on off, long press voice on off. This is what it comes with. It has the front panel, mix pad D1 switch, plate screws, mounting screws, wire nuts, user manual, wire labels. And here we have the specs again. This talks about it controlling a fan and it says it's not for a ceiling fan or a ceiling fan with a light. It says one light switch that controls the light or set of lights. Please check single pole installations steps. If you have a three-way, two light switches that control the same set of lights, please check three-way installation steps. Tools you need are screwdrivers and pliers. This says if you're unsure about electrical wiring, consult a qualified electrician. So that's very important. Electrical work can be very dangerous. So if you don't feel comfortable with this, definitely hire someone. If you don't know if you're comfortable doing this, then definitely hire someone. So it says turn off the power, remove the panel, take a photo. That's a real smart idea. So if you get confused about anything, you can refer back to your photo. You can even take a video too. You might want to take both. It says identify the neutral and ground wire wires, get it all hooked up. It says turn the power back on, then you can identify the load side and then turn the power back off and then you can label everything and hook it all up. So you can read through that to hook it up. It looks pretty straightforward for a typical smart switch or like timer switches are the same way. So install the switch, install the panel. This also has a three-way installation. So three ways where you have say two switches that control a single light. So it has instructions there. So I will say thus far, I really like these detailed instructions. I think it would make someone feel confident that has done electrical work with doing this Correctly. So then it says to download the app Orvibo Home and it's on Google Play or Apple App Store. It has a QR code here. Turn on the circuit breaker to start the device and then it has on screen instructions here to follow so you can set everything up. So it has different modes, it has voice intercom mode, voice broadcast mode, voice control. So lots of options there. So let's get this out and look at it in detail. So here's the face plate, here's the device itself. Okay, a little shock warning there. We have the four leads coming off here. We have ground, neutral, line, and line out. Wire nuts and faceplate, and there's a screw there. And I saw another screw somewhere. Let's see if the screws are in with the wire nuts. Okay, there we are. So one of the screws escaped the wire nuts pouch. So when you unbox this, make sure you're watching if any screws fall into the box. Then we have this plate. So we have that there. So I'm going to get this wired up in a box for demonstration. I may be able to do it right here on my bench so I can easily demonstrate this. And then I'll go over the setup procedure on it. Okay, so I have a little test set up here. I've run power into this electrical box and then I run wires out of it into this socket. Now this is not a permanent setup and I do not recommend you do something like this. This is not set up for safety. This is just set up for this temporary demonstration so I could have the switch and a light next to it. So I'm going to plug this in here and here this turned on so I'll focus in on it. It says MixPad D1 set up more features start. So let's switch over to my iPad and here I'm in the iPad I'm in the store I'll search for Orvibo. I'll download the app. 
So while that's downloading, I'll hit start on the switch. It says select the type of light. Mine is dimmable. Set a minimum brightness level. So some LED lights don't like to go below a certain dimness. So you can set the minimum floor there. I'll leave it at 15. I'll hit next. Preference brightness. So this is your preferred brightness. I'll do 100%. I'll hit next. It says download and install the app. I'll hit confirm. And now it has a QR code. So I'll switch over to the iPad. I'll hit open. I'll agree to the privacy agreement. I'll allow notifications. I'll sign up for an account and I'm going to skip through this. It wants to connect to Bluetooth, I'll say okay. It wants to find devices on my local network, I'll allow that. It wants to use my location, I'll say allow while using the app. It popped up a message at the bottom, it says one new device found, I'll hit add. It says connecting device. It says select network, so I'll enter in some Wi-Fi credentials. It says adding. Okay, it added it. So the switch now says welcome. I can hit start. And here we have the main screen. So back on the iPad, it says name your device. So I'll edit Mixpad D1, and I'll just call this Mixpad Switch. We can select a room, I'll have default room and more. I'll just say done here, okay. We can edit the light, so I'll just call this dimmer. So this is the name of your light. So this might be dining room, living room, kitchen, north wall, accent lighting, you know, it could be whatever you have it hooked into. I'll say done, okay. So now we've named the switch and the light, I'll hit next. We want to set up our location. So this will be used for weather, time zone, all of the functions that location would be used for. I'll hit finish. So now we have the Mixpad switch screen up on the app. I can't remember if I mentioned it, but this is only compatible with 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so keep that in mind. So here we have voice intercom, broadcast, device, and scenes. Now you need multiples of these switches to do the voice intercom and broadcast. I'll hit the back arrow here, and we can see this device management is where I just was. I'll hit OK. So if I tap that, I will go back to where I just was. So I'll tap on Home here. Now we have that QR code, and if it didn't automatically find the switch, we could hit this plus up here in the upper right, We'll hit OK here and we could hit scan. And this will bring up a camera. And with that camera, we could scan the QR code on the switch and it would connect it up to our app. But it was able to use the Bluetooth to do it. So that was very easy. So let me zoom out a little bit. So now in the app, I can tap on dimmer on and that will turn it off. So it kind of dimmed out. I'll hold down on dimmer off and we can dive deeper into it. So here we have the switch. I can tap it to turn it on and then I can drag this to dim it. So here I can dim it to whatever percentage I want here. And then we have vacation mode. So this will turn the light on and off randomly to simulate someone being home. There's also automatic. This will adjust the brightness according to the lights in the room. So if you have sun shining through windows, the light will be off. When it gets dark at night, it will turn on. And then we can add modes here. So we could call this say reading. So say we like our light to be at 78% when we read. Hit done, done, and here we have reading mode. So if we tap that, it will turn it down to 78%. So we also have smart modes. I'll hit plus here. I'll tap on scenes. I'll say control device. I'll tap on dimmer. We'll call this exit room. We want the action to turn the light on. Time delay is immediate. We'll say continue adding tasks. I'll control device, the dimmer, we want to turn it off this time, and we want a time delay of five seconds. So I'm just using five seconds for my example, but in practical application, you might have this as five minutes. So maybe you're leaving the house and you want to leave the light on until you're completely out of the house, and you want it to turn off in five minutes from when you tell it to. You could do this. Of course, I have five seconds here. I'll hit save. It says click to enable a scenario. I'll say next step. I can tap to edit it. There we go. And I will turn this light off, and I'll enable the scene. So this turns the light on, we're at 100%, and after five seconds, it will turn the light off. So if you want a light to stay on for a specific amount of time, you can program it with scenes. Now the possibilities are endless with scenes. This is a very basic example. And to take it to the next level, you would add integration like Siri. So we can say add to Siri. And it says shortcut added. So I don't have Siri set up to demonstrate that right now, but then you could use a voice command to turn your light on.
So now let's head over to the switch interface. Okay, so I have the light out of frame right now because I really want to focus on this interface, but you'll be able to see the light coming in from the side when I use it. But this is the main screen. We have a clock, has hours, minutes, has the day, day of the week, and it has the temperature. So it says it's 26.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very cold out right now. So this is almost like a smartwatch face. If you hold down on here, we can switch through the different faces. So here is a analog clock. This one focuses mainly on the temperature. Then we have the time down below. So I'll keep it at the default for now. So before I continue on with the interface, I should mention this is a button down here. So we can tap it to turn the light on and it brings up the little slider and we can tap it to turn it off. And then you can long press this to turn on the intercom. So if you have multiples of these and you're using the intercom features, you can hold that down. So I can swipe this. These are some settings. So we have Wi-Fi setting. If you tap on that, you can bring up a QR code and then you can go in the app and scan that QR code. So if you have to change Wi-Fi, you can go into that. Here we have dimming. So this is like the preference we set up when we first set the switch up. Next we have account. So that's our account we're logged into and that has a QR code if needed. We have display. So here's your brightness adjustment for the switch itself. And then we have the screen period. So you can have this turn on and off. We have personalize, which has the face here. You can have this change daily automatically. We have the voice, the system volume. So that is for the voice capabilities. We have language and region. So if your time and temperature are off, you can go in here, scan that QR code and check your location. We have system update. So if we tap that, this will tell if there's an update, it will check for it. And then we have about. And here, if we want to reset it, we can just hold down on the device name and hit reset. And that's a factory reset. So if you need to start over on this, you can do that. So I'll swipe again, and actually let's go back this way. So when we're on the main screen, if we swipe to the left, we have this control. So we can turn it on here with the touch screen, and then we can move this up or down. So there it's at 100%. We can move it down there. We'll swipe to the right again. And these are our modes. So we have our vacation mode or automatic mode. Here's the one we added called reading. And we can add modes here too. So we can set a brightness, and it will add it to that interface. So as you can see, this is a very robust switch. You can access the switch features through the switch itself. You can access them through the app, and then you can also access it with the voice assistant. So being able to set up scenes and the timers and things like that, you can do some really neat things with this. Also in the scenes, you can do things like set it based on sunrise, sunset times. So if you have some exterior lighting you want to turn on with this, you can have it turn on at sunset and turn off at sunrise. So it's very versatile. So I do want to say in the video, the switch doesn't quite look as white as it does in person. So this is very white in person. It's very black and very white. I don't know that it comes through on the camera quite as well as it could. See, when I lift it up, you can kind of see a little bit better there, although it's a little bit brighter in person. So, but I really like this has the time and date on it. It's funny, growing up, everyone had a VCR and it had the time on it or a microwave, and that's how people read the time around the house. Now, a lot of people read the time on a computer or a smartwatch or their phone now, but sometimes it's nice to have a wall clock, and this is a wall clock that's integrated right into a switch, so you always have access to it. So if this switch is near an exit or an entrance, it's nice if you're going outside, you can look at the temperature real quick and tell what kind of a jacket you might need. It also has the day of the week on there for people like me who get confused about that sort of thing. So that's the Orvivo MixPad D1 Smart Switch. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.